All right, guys, welcome to another video of Stop 51. Um, so today, I'm pissed off. Um, I am pissed off because the place where I live, um, they just don't give a shit. And, 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 and you know what? I don't think anybody gives a shit about anyone unless it's got something to do with them. You know? I don't think anyone gives a shit about no one. You know? And, uh... I think it's pretty freaking bad. You know? It's like... I don't even know how to explain it. Like, it, it, but, but it hurts, you know? It, it freaking hurts. Um, so I have my, my motorcycles. They're parked in front of my house. They're far, parked in front of my building. Now, I have gone above and beyond of, you know, keeping the bike safe. Um, apparently... Uh, one of them has had, it's just been falling over and over and over and over and over again. It's just been falling. And I've been trying to figure out what the hell, like, how is it falling? You know, I checked all the kickstand, checked everything. Um, you know, every time it falls, it breaks a light, it breaks this, it breaks that, you know. And it's not a cheap bike, you know. Um, and they're, they're, the problem is they're light. They're scooters, so they're, they're light, you know. Um... So today, in the morning, I was even like 7 o'clock in the morning. My bike was fine. Both of them were fine. I come back. They were fine. Sometime between 11 o'clock and I say between the time I saw it, which was like 3.30. So, somebody knocked my fucking bike down. Now, I know that for some people, they'll be like... Fuck that shit. That fucking little thing. And, you know, they don't understand. They they, they don't understand what it really is. You, you, you know, to... I mean, people are judging a book by its cover. That piece of shit that you think is a piece of crap is costing me 10 grand. You know? That's a $10,000 bike it's costing me. And if you're hitting it with your piece of shit car, then your car isn't any better, and here you are thinking, ah, that's okay, forget it, I'll be not that, just another fucking bike, ah, eh, fix it, eh, no problem, yeah, fuck that, you know, you know, and, and, and the fight is that, it, you know, the kickstands are, one is, there's a, 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 a side stand, which is on the left, and then there's a center stand. And, um, you know, I'm just, like, trying to figure this out because when I try to push the bike over myself to the left, which, that like, the weight fell, I mean, you got to, like, you got to, like, put some muscle into it. Like, you got to, like, pull that motherfucker to, to you know, to, to get it to fall. You know? And... Uh, it's just, you know, people don't understand, like, uh, these bikes are, when, when I go on the road, they're my life, so, yeah, fuck that bike, yeah, yeah, yeah whatever, 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 they don't understand that when I get onto it, I trust my life to those two wheels, and here they're thinking, oh, it's just another bike, and it's okay, and knock it down, it's okay, yeah, whatever, whatever, it doesn't matter. The worst part about this is that nobody said a single word to me. Hey, your bike is down. Can you come, you know, can, can, you know, your bike went down, you know, tell me. There's 500 fucking apartments in the fucking complex and that's just in the three buildings. There's over two and a half, three thousand people in each building. 
Why is it that nobody came up and told me anything? Why? Meanwhile, they'll call me and tell me that my mail is here. But they won't tell me that my bikes are down. And they know that those are my bikes. Like, they know. They know, like, those bikes belong to that person right there. They know about it. They know. You call me to tell me that I got mail. You're looking into my mailbox, which is a federal offense. You have the guts to get a federal offense on you. But you don't have the guts to tell me that my bikes are down. You know what I mean? And the even worse is that whoever did knock it down, because it's hard to knock it down to the left. If it would have fell to the right, I would understand it. But it fell to the left, which is very, very hard to knock a bike over to the left. We didn't have any wind. Um, and, and the whole thing is I found out that the bikes, that my bike, my older bike was falling was because the cover that I had, um, it, it, it would kind of like blow up like a balloon, right? Like a hot air balloon almost. And when it became windy, it became just top light. It just like the wind, wherever it took the bike, it would just knock it over. Um, the covers I use are $30. Obviously, they're heavy duty. You know, they're, they're heavy duty for scooter bike, scooter bike covers. Um, but the whole thing is, is that it's like, uh, like, I don't, I, 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 I don't understand it. You know what I mean? Like, it's crazy. So, uh, on the bike that was falling all the time, I got it fixed finally. And then the last time it fell, which was really windy, um, it, I can't start it back up again. So, I'm just really pissed off at that. Uh, but I found out why it was falling over. So, I cut a few holes in the cover um, so that there's not much air buildup in the cover. So now it's just, it, 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 hopefully, you know, it won't blow it over. Um, there will be a little drainage in the bike or whatever it is, you know, a little water going through. But, hey, it is what it is. I have to, you know, I have to let the air out, you know. Um, the air can't stay in there. So the last few nights it was kind of windy. I was kind of worried. I cut holes in both of the bikes. I even put weights into the seats. I put 40 pounds of weights into each seat. Uh, into each bike, and, um, you know, I mean, that's going to bring, the, that's going to hold the bike, I mean, the bikes, they don't weigh much, they're like three, 400 pounds, so you could tip them over easily, but, I mean, the kickstand, the center stand is pretty big, I mean, it's, that shit is wide, you know what I mean, it's wide, but, um, it's funny how nobody gives a shit, you know, and here I am every time, you know, I let them know, you know, I'll pass by, you know, I'll send them a text and shit. And you know what? It, it kind of hurts me. And, and it kind of tells me that I need to get the fuck out of here. Because, you know what? I mean, nothing is safe here. Even, you know, I even set up my cameras here. I set up cameras on each side of the building. Um... Unfortunately, my cameras didn't have SIM card, uh, uh, you know, the micro SD cards in them at the time of this happening. At the time of this happening, <sighs> sorry, just tired. It's like quarter of ten. Um, but um, I'm still trying to figure out if the solar panels work for the cameras. And once I find out that the solar panels work on the cameras, I'll probably climb up on one of the trees or something and just throw the camera up on the tree, you know, because I think I, I think I can run it, you know, and just let the, 
just let the just let the camera be up on the tree, but I need a high enough ladder that I can get up there and I have to do it at night. You know, to make sure that nobody sees it up there. You know? Might have to get like a black um a, a, a black a black um solar panel for it, you know, so nobody sees because white I have a white one and everybody can see the white one. Um I don't think they'll see the black one, and especially at night, you won't be able to see it, so, um, but I'm still testing out the solar panel, so we'll see how that works, and hopefully I'll be able to see if someone's knocking down my bikes, or if it's really the wind, or if someone's doing it on purpose, or if someone even did it by accident, I'm just going to report them to the insurance company, and say, look, my bike's apart, this is the plate number of the person that knocked it down, and, you know, run a claim on it, I don't give a shit, the bikes are parked, I'm not driving them, I'm not riding them, they're parked, you know, so, I'm just gonna do that, and, uh, go from there, you know, um, it hurts, because the, the whole thing is that the bike is brand new, it's a brand new bike that they tipped over, and, like, nobody gives a shit, you know what I mean, it hurts, it hurts, you know, and I'm going to start putting out signs, and I'm going to start doing a whole bunch of shit that is going to be really, really bad, you know, um, so, I mean, it's going to be crazy, but that's what it is, and it is what it is, you know, um, if it's going to get down to that, it's, it's going to get down to that, you know, if, if people are hating on the bikes, and mind you, I have I have two bikes in one spot, you know, um, they're taking up one spot. There's two bikes taking up one spot. Wait till I get the third one in there, then we'll see. Then I won't let that spot go at all. Right now, I don't want to take them out because the third bike is not is not there yet. So usually, what happens is the bike that I use the most, I'll put it in the middle. Uh, and I'll leave the other two bikes on the side, on each side, and this way when I pull out, nobody can park between the bikes because it's just not enough room for the, for the car to park in there. You know what I mean? So, anyways guys, um, you guys need maybe ideas of how I can maybe prevent people from, I guess, vandalizing or bumping into cars, um, uh, bumping, bumping, like, bumping their cars into the bikes, you know, uh, you got any ideas, just post them up, um, <sighs> cameras are going up, so I'm gonna be testing, I'm gonna be testing out the solar panels for a few days now, and, um, just see how that works, you know, and go from there, and, um, that's gonna be the best I could do, because, you know what, I can't do much more than that, I mean, it's, it's, it's horrible, I can't, I, I can't, like, this doesn't work, you know, it's horrible, um, so, yeah, you guys got any ideas, um, maybe rules and regulations that maybe you know that I don't, because there are two huge trees, on the block, and I am just thinking of throwing a solar panel on it, and the camera right on top of it, but I need to get up high, I need to get like maybe a crane or something to get up there, or maybe climb my ass up there, and just throw that, throw that camera up there, you know, I could probably get some climbing boots or something, but I would get up there, and I would be like a little bitch to climb down, um, I'd probably be afraid to come back down, you know, from the tree. Um, but it would have to be done at night, you know, it would definitely have to be done at night, and, uh, I could just, if the solar panel works, then I could just keep the camera up there, you know, nobody's gonna know anything, I can get like a little black cover for the camera as well, um, and that might be a good idea with a black solar panel, and just run it like that. 
but uh, it's going to be a few days before I test out the finish testing out the solar panel. I'm actually I actually have one set up on on like my balcony and stuff, and you know I know where the sun comes up from. Every morning the sun comes up on there, and you know, and every and then at night the sun sets, so it goes from the back of the building to the front of the building. And um, hopefully, I'll get the solar panel to work. Um, you know, I mean, the cameras I got are pretty decent. Um, I've been running around with the same camera for like, I guess, two, two and a half weeks. The battery went from like 98% to like 31%, which is freaking phenomenal. But I'm guessing that once I put it on to record, um, you know, considering there's going to be so much movement, you know, once I put it up there. And I think I should put it onto the, like, the closer tree. I could put it on the further tree, but I'm thinking about the closer tree. But the closer tree is a smaller tree, and I don't think I can climb up on the smaller tree. But I can definitely climb up the bigger tree. Um, but the problem with the bigger tree is that... I'm thinking that eventually somebody's going to cut it or something, like cut it down, you know. Um, but it will be big enough to handle my weight, you know, uh, to climb up there, you know. Uh, but I could also get like a nice, decent sized ladder to go up on it. Um, just drill. It takes literally the camera it takes uh, one screw, two screws, and uh, the solar panel takes two screws. So... As long as I can get the solar panel to, you know, to view, you know, it should be fine. Um, the wire is 13 feet long on the panel. Um, so, but uh, before I even think about the tree, I have a friend that's going to pull, he's going to put up the camera um, in, the, in the front of the building too. So hopefully I'll get the view of the bikes uh, from there, you know. And then the other the other issue I had was the the ground the ground was leading to to the to the like the ground is not even it's like it's like this so if I park the bike over here it would tip over to the right it would always tip over to the right but then again I think it's because of the cover as well you know so I'm gonna try to I mean I don't want to put it over there because I think I found like the the edge. And now I put it on this side, so now it's, it's to the left, so they're leaning to the left, you know. Plus, I have them, like, at an angle on the left, leaning to the left. So that means they're leaning towards the inside of the curb, you know, which is, like, to prevent them from falling, you know. Um, so, I mean, yeah. I mean, it's kind of crazy, but it is, you know, it is what it is. Once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe. Listen to my bullshit. I post some crazy shit. You know, you don't have to watch it. I don't care if you do. Uh, send your friends. Send your family. Let them watch my stupidity. Um, as I say, I am crazy. I'm not stupid. Um, I will do some crazy shit, um, and, um, you know, I mean, this video is completely off, off the vending subject, but, um, yeah, it sucks, I'm really upset, it just turned my whole day around, you know, um, just completely turned my whole day around, anyways, guys, thank you for watching, and peace out.